Hey Bobcats, once you have it open from Google Classroom, if you hover around, you will see an open width. And I have a lot of options here, but you need to find Doc Hub. If you don't see it, go down to Connect More Apps, so type in Doc Hub, and you will find it. And then you would click Install. I already have it, so it doesn't show it there. So you go back and click Open With and Doc Hub. It's going to open up into a new document. As you notice on mine, it's going to say, do you want to use the existing because I've used it before. So you always want to say yes, use the same one. And all you do is simply hit the text tool, hover, put in at the spot, and you would type in your name. Once you're done, you can hover over to the next spot, click, and type in the date. You can also change the size of the um, font here because when you get down a little bit further, you may want smaller font. If you type in something that you don't like, you can backspace or you see there's the little trash button and you can delete it. Once you're done with everything and you've set all of your goals, you can click download and it gives you all these different options. Yours automatically would go into your Google Drive. I don't even really download mine because if you just close it, it's going to remember that you worked on it. Because now when I go back and try to open it again, see how it looks blank, but I go, hey, open it with Doc Hub, and I wait, and sometimes this will happen. It'll say, oh, you need to sign in. You have an account, don't put your email. Just click sign in with Google, and this will show everything you've ever done in, in Doc Hub. So I open up my Map Growth Student Goals, and there's all the information I had before. So it is saving it every time you close it. Sometimes you it doesn't open correctly, but if you do the three little dots to the right hand side and say open in a new window, um, then you get the open with. That's, that is if you didn't see open with the first time. Use those three little dots on the right hand side, open it in a new window, and then you should get the option. And then go through the steps again for opening with Doc Hub. You can see it's making me sign in again. Sometimes it does that, sometimes it doesn't and just very simple to use and fill out all of your information.